Close your eyes and focus on your breath. Take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths and see how it feels. If long breathing feels good, keep it up. If it doesn't feel good, you can change. The breath is one of the few processes in the body that you can have some control over, so take advantage of that fact. See what kind of impact long breathing has on the body or about shorter breathing, deeper or more shallow, heavier or lighter, faster or slower. Take some time to explore this energy of the body, because there's a lot that can be done with it. Find a good place for the mind to stay in the present moment, and when the mind can stay in a comfortable spot in the present moment, then it can watch itself. If it doesn't have any sense of ease and well-being in the present moment, it's going to go running off to the past, the future, this person, that thing, all kinds of things outside of where you are right here, right now. And as a result, you never get to see your own mind. As the Buddha said, the big problem in life is that we cause ourselves suffering, even though we don't want to. And we keep doing it again and again and again. You'd, you'd think that we would come to our senses. And that's what we're trying to do as we meditate, is to come to our senses. Learn to watch the mind and see exactly where it's causing the problem, what kind of ignorance is causing it to make itself suffer. You particularly want to look at the intentions of the mind, because those are the things that shape your life. Because of your intentions that you think certain things and do certain things and say certain things. So you want to be able to see them in, in action. How do they arise? How do they take hold? When intention comes up, some of them you go with and others you don't. What's the difference? And are you selective in what you go with, or do you just go in line with your moods? You want to be able to see these things, and the only way you can see them is by staying in the present moment, trying to get as still as you can in the present moment, because these movements of the mind are subtle. And if you're moving around a lot, you can't see their movements either. But if you're still, then you begin to see movements in the mind you never saw before. So try to keep the mind still here with the breath. Find a spot in the body that feels comfortable when you breathe in, and keep it comfortable as you breathe out. And then breathing in again, breathing out again, so that no new tension builds up as you breathe in. You don't hold on to any old tension as you breathe out. That way it's easier and easier for the mind to settle down and to like staying here. Because all the important things in life are happening right here, right now, but you're distracted by other things. There are people out there who want your attention, and you yourself really don't know where to focus your attention unless you train the mind to stay right here so you can watch yourself, watch the mind in action. And that way you can sort out its skillful habits from its unskillful habits. So take some time to explore the breath, and as you explore the breath here in the present moment, the mind will begin to gather in right here. And then you can see that as well. <laughs> 